Hello again. Your daily, your, your your day in the life of One. Daily uploads of One. Only three months late. <laughs> What's up? Um, man. Okay, I'm gonna talk about some stuff. Um, what this video is about is about what I'm doing with content. An update on me. If you know me, then cool. If you don't know me, you don't care. That's cool too. If you wanna window into my life, I guess you can watch. Um, I'll be real. It's hot in here. I don't even know why I'm um, recording right now. I said I'd give an update, and I do, but I, I'm not even like anywhere near really having a final say on what the heck I'm doing because I'm kind of all over the place, which isn't out of the ordinary. I'm moving my leftover fries that I didn't eat. Um, it's not out of the ordinary, but, uh, you know, I said I would record, so I'm recording, I'm sticking to it. Um, I have not recorded, or it's not that I haven't recorded, I haven't uploaded in a very long time. Let's see, how long has it been? I don't even freaking know. Uh, three months since Ditlone, over a year since Asione, or One, and, um, and nothing else. Uh, I've been a part of some content here at the Jimmy Here House, but not even really that much, um, and I'm just not living the life that I wanted to. I'm not being a content creator. I'm not doing anything. I mean, I'm doing stuff, but um, basically it's just been very hard for me to do anything. And there's a couple of reasons for that, I think. And I've been getting to the bottom of it. But um, I think I'm at a pivotal point because I've been wanting to actually make content, make cool things, put out videos. That I get like... I've gotten to this point, which is not easy, and I've given up a lot for it, and I want to keep doing it, yet I'm not. Um, and uh, I do have some updates on future content. I'm not giving up, but um, but in a weird way, this is going to be interesting. So I've been wanting to do I've been wanting to do this, and I can't. And the main thing I think I'm boiling it down to is that I just don't have the love and passion for making videos anymore like I used to. I have had that passion since I was a child, since I can remember. And I think that died within me sometime in the last four years. Um, I know most of you guys watching, uh, the, the other, what, 10 of you guys, <laughs> uh, you don't really know about my stuff, um, but... Four years ago is roughly when a lot of shit went down and also making videos went from not only a hobby that I loved, but went to a profession, which that happened beforehand, but this became a real profession, like one where it's like every day you got to go in and just make these corporate videos um, and they were boring. And I remember th thinking I had a quarter life crisis because I was like, oh, I don't even like this anymore. What should I do? And... Um, and that might have been the start of it, but then also a lot of stuff happened. A lot of financial troubles, relationship troubles, family troubles, just everything. When it rained, it when when it rains, it pours. And the last, you know, the next three years during that time were just like absolute hell. And so then video became not a source of love and passion. It became a source of survival, like legit. And somewhere along, along those years, uh, it just died. And now. I want to, I know it's like, to me in my head, I know it's like my purpose to make these videos and, uh, you know, and just do this, but I just don't have that fuel anymore. And how can you run with, when you don't have fuel, you force it. And I tried to force it. I made the Minecraft video, which, um, was great. I'm very proud of that video still. Uh, but that was again, survival mode. That was, this is my last chance to do something crazy and get me out of this hole that I was in. And it worked. I can't believe it freaking worked. Um, but uh, that didn't solve the core issue of me not creating videos. Um, it, in fact, well, it didn't do anything. And I just didn't realize. So I thought, wow, if I could, if I could get through what I was going through and make that video in four months, imagine what I could do if I was stress-free. Well, that got me to a stress-free area. Um, this year I've lived with Jimmy has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I couldn't have dreamed of anything better. Yet I have not done anything. 
my content is nowhere. Um, I've recorded a bunch, yet I can't edit it. Um, it's hard for me to, it's just hard for me to push. And I think that's because, again, I don't have the love for it. And the thing about me is, that I'm learning is that I do have willpower. But when it comes to creating things, which is the main thing that I want to do, which is what I feel like I've been called to life, I have to love what I'm creating. And right now, I just don't love it. Um, and so I've mostly just been working for Jimmy and doing his back end stuff. I've mostly been just hanging out and lounging. And I've been doing some stuff like improving myself, going to the gym. I've, um, the, I think I'm physically the healthiest I've ever been. Um, mentally, I'm pretty, I'm the most mindful I think I've ever been. Um, and I'm healing. And, uh, but I still don't have that love. And so I thought, okay, how do I make that love again? And this week, I think I've realized, uh, with the help of some coaching, talking to friends that, you can't really fall in love with something when you have the weight and the pressure of like the world on it. And that's what I'm doing to myself. I've been a filmmaker for 10 years. So these videos should be really good because I really know how to edit. I really know how to story tell. I know how to shoot. I'm willing to do anything. So these videos should be top tier. I'm supposed to be one of the biggest YouTubers ever. I'm going to be make a name for myself, blah, 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 blah. I've been saying that to myself constantly. That is so much pressure to put on. Um, I'm supposed to love what I'm doing. Why don't I love what I'm doing? All that, all this is just pressure, pressure, pressure onto something that shouldn't have any pressure. It should be, you do it cause you love it. And I just don't have any of that, um, which is very sad. Um, and somebody told me that, um, basically to relieve that pressure is to let go, let go of the pressure and letting go essentially means letting go of almost my dream to become that YouTuber, to become that top YouTuber. Uh, I don't even know if that means to become a YouTuber in general. Does that mean I have to let go of that? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. And does this mean I'm quitting? Absolutely not. So this is a very complicated matter. So trust me when I say it's not that I'm wanting to quit and I'm not, this isn't me a quitting video. This is, I have to relieve this pressure of making videos to make videos. I have to let go of wanting these videos to be amazing um, for them to be amazing. Because when I love something, I make it amazing. I know that for a fact. I'm very confident. When I love doing something, I make it absolutely amazing. When I force it, it's shit. And that's why it's been so hard to release videos. I just look at them. I'm like, these are not good enough. I, there's not, you can't feel it. There's no soul. There's no love. It's, it's forced. And, um, I basically, I, I, it's very, it, it's almost impossible for me to even do that. It's not even perfectionism. I've been working on my perfectionism, my confidence to release something that's not that great. It's not even that it's really just, I can't get myself to do it, man. And so, um, so I have to let go of that. Uh, and letting go of that also means kind of grieving, kind of grieving in a way, grieving what you're, what, what, uh, what it is, you know what I mean? It, I'm letting it go. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like I legit have no idea what that means. And like, I've always said that a hidden skill of lifelong creatives, like career creatives, musicians, movie makers, anything is learning how to keep your fire alive without it burning out, getting too small, getting big, kind of like a firebender in avatar, kind of like Zuko and Aang going up to the dragons. And, um, I haven't learned how to do that, I guess. Uh, mine, I didn't even realize mine was dead. And so um, I'm basically kind of letting go. And I'm going to try to discover something I'm passionate about again, which honestly, it's been a while. I don't even know. Uh, the last time I remember being passionate about something was actually streaming. Um, when I made my last stream, I made something crazy that has not been replicated since. And I think I've lost a lot of it. Maybe I might stream again. Maybe I might just start streaming and find the love for that and transfer that love into making videos. Um, maybe I'll try to do some short films again. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I genuinely don't know. Um, so that's basically why um, I have not been uploading. Um, and I have a plan I'm still kind of creating my plan. I could even go over my plan right now. I don't really like going over plans 
or stuff because if you didn't know, apparently, when you talk about doing something, your brain kind of sends off these like signals as if you did it already. So you're kind of getting the reward before you did anything. So if I have a genius idea I'm so excited about doing and I just tell you about it over and over and over and I tell all my friends about it, I'm kind of getting my dopamine hits. And now eh, what's the point of even doing it in the first place? So it's not really a good thing to talk a lot about what you want to do. Um, but I can give you at least my plan uh, so far because I'm still making it. And you guys will see what kind of content I'll be putting out and what kind of updates I kind of want to do. Uh, and again, I know this seems really bland and sad and like I'm quitting. I promise you, again, that's not what it is. Uh, I'm just really trying to figure this stuff out. I'm just being real. I always wanted to be real. And so, uh, yeah, it's not sad, but I also, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Uh, so it, this is just a journey. And the last thing before I go into my plan is that I think this is needed because though I've thought about it, um, doing something like, Hey, let's just get like, you know, it's really hard for me to focus. Let's get some Adderall or something. Let's just burst through it. Let's absolutely just force myself through these walls and say, fuck it. We ball pushing out videos. And I've thought very strongly about that. I felt, I felt, I've thought very deeply. Um, but the thing is, I feel like I can see the future with that. The future of many YouTubers who though are pretty successful are just flip flopping all the time. I have YouTubers. I love their videos. Their videos are so good. They are so funny. I want to be fans of them. And they just go up and down with uploading all the time. And almost every single time they upload, they talk about how difficult it is, how they haven't been feeling it, how they're not in love with anything, etc. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. I haven't even started. <laughs> I haven't even started and I'm already feeling like that. Which means if I just don't figure this stuff out right now, what I'm going to do is build something cool with the shakiest foundation in the world and it will all crumble and I will feel way worse. So uh, I'm trying to figure it out right now. Um, that might take some time. So I'm sorry. Um, but that means you probably will be seeing some more just kind of bullshit videos. Uh, that might be fun if you guys are a fan of that here on Ditlone. And I also have another channel that I'm creating, which you might be thinking, whoa, I thought you just said that you can't do that. And that, that's true. But I think I found a channel where I can at least put some stuff out that I'm enjoying. That is a good, that is a good opportunity for me. That isn't, uh, kind of, I don't need to be as passionate about, and that sounds kind of weird, but y you'll kind of hear it. Um, and honestly, let me just talk about that channel. Basically what I've learned is that I am a filmmaker. I was a filmmaker for 10 years and I've never seen any movies <laughs> like none. I haven't seen like, you know, Lord of the Rings, uh, fight club. Um, you know, any of the Tarantino movies almost, um, I haven't found, I don't, don't remember any of Harry Potter. Um, there's just so many classic movies that, uh, Shawshank Redemption. I don't know. There's just so many movies that are like cult classics that I have just never watched some shows that are huge that I've never watched. And so like breaking bad, never seen it. Don't even really know what it's about other than like a math dealer. I was a chemistry teacher. And so, um, basically I'm making a react channel to those movies. I'm going to watch those movies and you're going to be able to see me as a filmmaker. Uh, what I think about these movies real time. I watch a lot of people like Natalie gold or my friends at spilling the milk. They do it to cartoons. So they're going to help me. And uh, that is something that I think I can realistically get out weekly. So if you're interested in movies, seeing me and my opinion on movies, not really a review, but more of just an appreciation of shows I haven't seen from a filmmaker's perspective. Because it's, it's not the most you know um, common thing to see a filmmaker who's been nothing but consuming all types of filmmaking knowledge who has never seen any movies. <laughs> so um, that will be happening. The channel is not made. I have made a test video of me watching um, a movie and I'm going to keep doing that. Um, and that will be out probably soon, probably within July. Um, but that probably it should, it definitely should be in July and that should be at least weekly uploads. So that will be across all social media, my discord and this channel when I release it. So keep up to date with that, I guess, if you want to see me watch movies and that'll be constant content. So again, I'm not leaving. I'm just letting you know when it comes to the big grand fun videos and even the videos on this channel that I haven't been doing. 
So finally, um, was it 15 minutes in if you're here? Hello, Warfent, Silo, Aaron, <laughs> no, uh, Noodle, um, everybody, uh, everybody in the Discord. I think someone just chatted. Hey, yo, still stay safe. I just told people that I'd, uh, I worried about filming a video because of a, uh, because of a hurricane that happened. That's, don't worry about it. Anyway, so here are the goals. Okay, here are my goals. First, I need to find a passion for videos again. So I'm going to be experimenting with a lot. I don't know what that means. Okay, like literally, I don't know. I'm going to be experimenting with all kinds of stuff again. And we'll see where I really start to hype up again. Um, so yeah, that's just a lot of experimentation. Might take a little bit of time. You might see it, might not. Uh, I'll be posting some stuff on Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, it's just the same thing, Asione. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, but that's the first goal. Just wander. <laughs> wander until I find something. Uh, number two, though, I'm not going to be wasting time. I'm still doing that movie channel, and I'm still going to be learning a ton and putting that into things. You will see me in certain stuff. I'm still going to be in some Jimmy Here stuff. If you don't know about his Patreon podcast, I'm in his podcast. So I'm still going to be around, uh, but I'm just not going to be wasting time. So that's going to be a big thing. And then, uh, honestly, I might, again, start streaming. I'm just trying to find passion in anything. Streaming is fun, whether I'm just playing a game or editing or just sitting here talking. Honestly, I was thinking about streaming right now. So uh, even though I'm kind of down in the dumps. I'm not down in the dumps. I'm just really low energy. So uh, my start streaming again. So if you want to follow my Twitch, um, I'm probably going to be streaming everywhere. And lastly, I'm going to be doing daily creative routines. If you don't know, if you creative is a skill, it's a muscle. You got to exercise it. Otherwise it dies. I kind of feel like mine is slightly dying. Not really, but dying in terms of being creative for myself compared to other people. So I'm going to be writing. I'm going to be doing some editing. Uh, some of this stuff that I'm editing, you might never see. I'm probably just going to be editing because again, I have to edit for myself, not for you guys. So you might see some of it. You might not. Sorry. Um, and I might do some TikToks. They might just be bullshit shit posting like my TikTok usually is. But at least, again, I'm doing something. So, um, and that's, I mean, that's, that's basically all I got. <laughs> that's, there's other small stuff. Like, for instance, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing meetings with a bunch of people that I'm connected to. And I really want to talk to a lot of people, get their perspective. And I'll be doing that, um, honestly, starting next week. And so there's just, I don't know, there's a lot happening behind the scenes, but the main thing is that I just need to fall in love with this stuff again. Otherwise, this is kind of futile, I guess, in my opinion. And so we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited, but wandering, not all who wander are lost, but if you're wandering, it, it kind of feels like you're lost. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe I am lost. Um, Either way, uh, everybody who's been a part of my journey, uh, again, this feels like I'm quitting. I'm not. Everybody who's been a part of my journey so far, thank you so much. Everybody in the Discord, you guys are amazing. I'm going to be hanging out in the VCs a lot more. I've honestly not been hanging out in the VCs as much because I'm just worried. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to put out stuff. I want to show up so you guys show up, and I'm not. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that's necessarily shame or not. But it kind of feels like it. Like, I just, you know, I feel like I'm showing up em empty-handed. Uh, what are we doing? Playing Discord games. That's fun. I love hanging out. Um, but I want to be doing stuff. And I'm not. So, but with me, again, I'm trying to let go of all that. You know what I mean? So, again, sorry if this kind of disappoints some of you guys. But for me to do what I want and what you want, I have to also just let it go. Not look at it as a job anymore. And just have fun with it. So, um, I think that's why I'm going to do, uh, the, uh, like I said, the plan is barely even anything either. Like I said, I'm not prepared for this. I'm just having this kind of discovery thing happening right now. And I've been working on it the last month. Um, honestly, I've been working on it almost this entire last year since I uploaded that Minecraft video. So, um, so yeah, I'm not leaving, but things are changing. And this is my update. This is my transparency little update. And uh, that's about it. So it's already 20 minutes. This video is way too long. I'm going to go ahead and end it now. And um, I will. I mean, 
Let's see how the next three months goes. The next three months, we're going to look at this as a little update. Um, but I'm waffling. I'm going to go. Uh, good night or good morning whenever you're watching this. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Thank you so much for you guys. If you have any advice, put it in the comments below. Would love to hear from everybody and anybody. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And see you later. <laughs>